Hello you guys, welcome back. So first off, um, I'm gonna be driving. I'm gonna try to have my camera stay up there. I don't know how well it will stay, but we'll see. Um, so how did you guys like yesterday's video? Um, so yeah, I'm pregnant. Um, so I wanna do like a sit down video um, about my symptoms, why I thought I was pregnant and like, my camera is not staying right there. So, um, so I had like things that were like going on. I wasn't going on with my body. Like I just had weird things and like weird things happening, happening around me and like made me think that I was pregnant. First off, look how gorgeous this tree is, you guys. How pretty is that? that it looks like an apple. Those like, what are they called? Like yellow apples, I don't know. But um, so yeah, I had like a ton of just weird things going on. Um, I'm almost feeling like I just wanna record it in this video because I honestly don't ever have a time to really just sit down and record it. So I guess I can just talk about it with you guys right now, depending how long my camera or my battery is because it's not fully charged. So let's just get started with that then, I guess. I took that test on the 27th because I was a day late and I just was feeling weird and you know so whatever and then a few days later I was like and one thing that was weird to me I was like my pee smells like I'm pregnant like I don't know like I just I like the smell of my pee it smelled like I was it smelled like pregnant pee and I was like this is weird and I just like kind of like shook it off or whatever and I still had that one test in the bathroom because that other test was a two pack so I just I was like that's weird or whatever and then um so this was probably like the day before Halloween or like two days before Halloween um and then there were just like weird things that were like just like um what do you call them like just weird things happening around me like I was on my YouTube and a suggested video was like um something about being pregnant and stuff and then um I don't know just a lot of weird things that were like leading up to when I took the test so I took the test November 1st right um so what, what was before that Halloween right so that night I took my clothes off and I like looked at my stomach in the mirror Ooh, sorry hold on okay I'm at a stoplight so I can hold it real quick so I was looking at my my stomach in the mirror and I was like I look like I'm pregnant like and obviously you know being first pregnant you're not gonna look that pregnant but it was just one, another one of those things where I was like I just look like I'm pregnant like my stomach is like sticking out and then I was like I have that other test I was like maybe I should take that test and I wanted to take it without Alex knowing that I was taking it and we were about to get in the shower so I was trying to get it to where I had him get in the shower first and I would do it that night and then like it, it just wasn't happening so I was like you know what whatever I'll just like do it tomorrow or something but yeah just like that night there were so many things that were just talked like baby wise that were talked about and then the next morning I woke up um I had to go to the bathroom really bad I was like oh I have this test that I need to take um and then I looked at it and I was like, no, I was like, it's going to be negative. Like, because like I said in my last video, um, I literally don't get my period at the same time. Well, at like when I'm supposed to get it every month, it's usually like four days late and then I'll get it or like a whole week late. It, it's like, it's crazy. It varies so much. So, um, so I was like, you know, it's probably just my period, you know, taking forever to come again. So, um. So I was like, I'm just being like paranoid. Like, I'm just not gonna take it. And then I was like, well, like, so we weren't like actively trying, but we weren't like not preventing it. You know, like I wanted a baby, like I really wanted one. Um, but we, in the end, we both knew that we wanted to wait until after we were married um, and plan for it on our honeymoon. Like that was the original plan. So, um, and so yeah, like we both like really wanted one. We just wanted to wait till after the wedding and all that stuff. 
Who is calling me? Hold on, I'll call. Okay, so I'm parked at Meyer. Um, oh, I forgot my rings. Um, I'm gonna finish telling you guys like a little bit about everything. I don't even know where I left off at because some number was calling me that I didn't even know. Um, so I think I left off saying that like, I don't know. I guess that we weren't trying, but we weren't preventing it. That we both wanted a baby like right away, but we also wanted to wait till the wedding or to the honeymoon. So there's that, but we're like over the moon excited. Like, um, I think every time I thought I was pregnant and we took a test, it kind of like hurt a little inside to know that I wasn't. Um, so like we wanted it. I guess we just didn't want to, I don't know, but we're both overly excited. Like not upset at all. Um, family's family is excited I have um, my best friend who's excited so I think overall we got um, pretty good um, um, responses from people maybe some people don't feel the same way I don't know don't really care um, so I do want to say thank you to um, I got a few new subscribers um, from my recent video who have joined and so they subscribe so thank you guys so much I really appreciate that um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna put out my update videos with you guys but I will say this morning so today is the um, today's the 8th and um, so this eight days since I've found out that I'm pregnant I feel like it's been so much longer um, I had really bad like not cream it was like a crampy a crampy like weird like feeling in my stomach I don't know if it was just all of my um it's a car parking next to me I don't know if it was just all of my um like you know insides kind of like transitioning transitioning like moving around and stuff you know making way for the baby I'm not sure about that but um yeah so I dealt with that um so yeah I sort of dealt with like the crampiness this morning and it was, I don't want to say it was stretching because it felt different. Like, I, f I don't know. It was kind of like a stretching feeling in a way. Um, so, I owe that, but it's it, it came and went. So, like, I don't have it right now. But, like, I haven't had any morning sickness. I haven't, like, overall, I felt great. And I think that's why I took so many tests because I doubted myself so much because I wasn't having, like, any symptoms. But I'm sure it's going to hit me one day and I'm just going to, like, fall to the ground. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, that's kind of my update for today about it. I feel fine. Like, I'm, I feel fine. I know last night I looked in the mirror and, um, because I'm not skinny. <laughs> um, and one thing I am upset about with this pregnancy is I still have my weight from Micah. So, like, that's a huge thing that, like, I'm, like, struggling to deal with and knowing, like, I don't want to gain a lot of weight with this pregnancy. I lost like a decent amount of weight after I had him and I just you know I was trying to, I was trying to t transition with like still a young child and with him so I regret not taking um, much time for my body and like trying to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight with Micah like I regret that a lot so I know with the next pregnancy I know it'll be better because I know in my head like with Aubrey like I lost my weight like that but I know with there's so many people look at me in their car but I know that with um breastfeeding and you know all the way that you lose like after birth like I know it'll be kind of a jump start to help me lose it so like I just I need to remind myself that because you know with Abby I didn't really have to worry about anything because I just lost all the weight but with Mike uh, it no there was no just losing it it was I had to put in work like and I lost a decent amount um and then like there was just times where you know things happen but anyways this isn't about like pregnancy or not it's not about like weight loss and weight and all that but yeah I I do or I don't want to gain a lot of weight this pregnancy so I'm just trying to watch what I eat I'm trying to limit like my sugars I don't want gestational diabetes um all that stuff so although I know sugar isn't like you know the main reason the main cause of diabetes but yeah um so I had gestational diabetes with Aubrey and you know I had to check my blood sugar a lot and I just for the type of person I am I am not that committed like I pray that 
I don't have it because it's a lot to keep up with. Like you have to monitor what you eat, monitor your blood sugar. So it is a lot. This lady just walked right, or that guy just walked right past my window. <laughs> Did he park in the pregnant, in the expecting spot? Oh, okay, no. I'm parked at the expecting mother spot. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so like I said, I'm not sure how I'm going to do my update videos for you guys, but I did want to come on here and record this and kind of give you guys how I felt about everything and just the signs that were popping up. Like we were just talking about babies a lot, like the day before and names that we like and just things like that. So, um, I just thought it was all weird how it played out. And, um, the weird thing is like, this might be TMI and it's not too much TMI, but so the, the, my honeymoon next year that's when we were going to plan to have him and um i think i conceived or have him have our next child i think the day i conceived this month or last month for this new child i think it is the same week that it was supposed to be for next year and i also took that as a sign i took it as that we clearly needed this child before next year like there's a reason why we needed this little baby here with us before our wedding next year so yeah I just I I do believe that things happen for a reason so we needed this child before next year or before two years because we wouldn't have had this child till 2019 so I'm super excited um I just overall I'm I'm so excited like it was so hard to keep it in and not tell people um and yeah so I'm just, I'm excited to share this with you guys. Um, I'm excited to uh, just like really enjoy it because this could possibly be our last child. Uh, we kind of talked about the possibility of one more, but you know, we're not jumping too ahead because we haven't had this one. But yeah, so like it's a possibility that we could have another one, but as of right now, this is kind of like our last. So I'm trying to enjoy it all. I'm trying to stay calm, you know, I'm trying to stay like stress-free I'm trying not to let like the little petty shit get to me and stuff like that um, not just with the pregnancy but just in general like I just I'm trying to just be more positive about things um, just enjoy it like it goes by so fast and like Micah seriously he'll be two on the 27th and like it seriously happened in a blink of an eye and I I don't think I really um and not that I no I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy it but I didn't like soak it all in and that's what I need to do with this pregnancy there's so much that like I just so much but I could go on for days but I'm gonna go inside with Meyer um I need to get some stuff to make for dinner tonight and um yeah so I will see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoy this kind of little update leading up to my days and I hope you enjoyed the last video if you did not see the last video I will put it somewhere up here or link it down below. Um, if you are new, like I said, thank you for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Bye.